Welcome to your favorite program, The Power Circuit, from the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN. This program keeps you informed about the operations of TCN and the role it plays in managing the national electricity grid. Here are the headlines of the stories lined up in this edition. Federal Executive Council approves three power transmission projects. TCN, World Bank boosts skills of 708 electrical engineers, linesmen. TCN, power sector stakeholders converge on SCADA, EMS projects. In the interview segment, the Executive Director, Transmission Service Provider, TSB at TCN, Engineer Victor Adeni, will be speaking about the role of the section in building and maintaining power transmission infrastructure for the national power grid. Please be sure you stay with us. My name is Amara Agogoisi. The Minister of Power, Engineer Saleh Maman, says the Federal Executive Council, FEC, has approved three power transmission projects to be executed by the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN. According to a statement from the Office of the Minister of Power, the Council approved three memos presented by the Ministry for the projects. The Minister listed the approved projects as consisting of the construction of 45 kilometers of 132 kilovolts Umwahato Hofia single cycle transmission line in Abia State. Engineer Maman disclosed that the next project is for the design, manufacture, supply, and construction of a 2 by 60 MVE 132-33 kV power transmission substations at Ekori Ugep with a 2 by 132 kV bay extension situated at Calabar and Ecom. The minister said it also includes the design, supply, and construction of a 220 km 132 kilovolts double cycled power transmission line from Calabar to Ecom in Cross River State. The minister said the third project is the approved 259.9 million naira for the construction of a 1 by 150 MVA 330 132 33 kilovolts substation, 1 by 60 MVA. 132-33 kV substation, all at Obagena, with a 2 by 330 kV line base extension at the local gas substation in Kogi State. Engineer Mama in the statement said, all projects are to be duly implemented by the Transmission Company of Nigeria under the supervision of the Federal Ministry of Power. The Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, is holding an intensive training program for 708 engineers in the company to boost their operational skills. The trainees were taken from the Electrical Maintenance Department, Protection, Control and Metering Department, and linesmen across the 10 regions of the company for the two-week training, which is organized by TCN through the World Bank program. Declaring the training open in Abuja on Monday, the Acting Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of TCN, Engineer Suli Ahmed Abdulaziz, said the training is to expose the TCN maintenance engineers to facility improvement programs under the World Bank's Nigeria Electricity Transmission Project, NETAP, currently being executed in TCN. Are those in the protection, control, and metering department, CCRM, electrical maintenance department, EFD, and life maintenance department, LMP. Totally 708 years from 10 years to be nationwide. The five modules of this training program have been carefully crafted to ensure that the assets and price still gaps are in the operational patterns to improve efficiency. The TCN head noted that the company was prioritizing the training of its staff as it gradually expands the capacity of its transmission network with the execution of several projects to ensure grid efficiency and stability. You must all understand that as TCN gradually expands the capacity of its transmission network with the execution of several projects, we will need to put in more efforts to ensure grid efficiency and stability. According to him, the training, which is divided into five models, is aimed at earning their skills and in the end, 
give them fresh perspectives on how to get their jobs done more efficiently and effectively to produce better results. Engineer Abdulaziz expressed gratitude to the development partners, especially the World Bank, for the training program. I want to especially thank the, the, the Federal and ADS, the World Bank, for their support and partnership in social this training program. My appreciation also goes to all those that have contributed one way or the other to ensure that this training becomes a reality. The Executive Director of Transmission Service Provider TSP in TCN, Engineer Victor Adewumi, urged the participants to ensure active involvement during the program and to ask questions whenever they require clarification during the two-week training. He also advised that this is the right time to seek knowledge as he noted that with adequate theoretical and hands-on knowledge, they are more likely to progress to become prosperous. Adeomi said it is only once with keen interest and determination that come out of such training programs better engineers. On his part, the Executive Director of Human Resources and Change Management at TCN, Mr. Justin Ishaya Dudu, revealed that much preparation was put into the program designed for maximum results. He also lauded the World Bank initiative even as he advised the trainees to make the best use of the opportunity and also to network and make new friends. The General Manager Program Coordination at TCN, Engineer Joseph Chiroma, urged the graduates to deepen their knowledge during the two-week program period. He also said there is a team from the World Bank, along with other indigenous power experts and instructors, to provide deeper knowledge about emerging trends and what is expected of the trainees in their job roles at TCN. The power circuit continues after this break. To clarify that land before you buy it. To drastically reduce the incidence of building under the transmission right of way or encroaching on designated TCN land, members of the public are hereby requested to verify land near or along transmission line route before purchasing it. Verification should be made in the Land Development Authority or at the TCN office. This would help in drastically reducing the incidence of building under transmission line right of way and save us all the problem of pulling down the structure or truncating transmission line expansion projects in your community due to court injunction. Help us serve you better. Verify that land before you buy it. The management of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, has held a joint stakeholders meeting for electricity market participants on the supervisory control and data acquisition SCADA and electricity management system and the telecommunication projects that would enhance national power grid efficiency. Giving an insight into the meeting that brought together officials of TCN and representatives of power generation companies, the Executive Director of Independent System Operations, ISO at TCN, Engineer Maman Lawal, said the meeting is to drive the promotion of an efficient and robust power grid. The strategy for the implementation of a new SCADA EMS in our facility was adopted a couple of years ago, but due to sundry administrative uh, reasons, we are unable to kickstart. Uh, as envisaged. Nonetheless, it would appear that uh, at this point the coast is clear and uh, we felt the stakeholders have to be brought on board so they understand exactly what our intent is, the methodology we intend to adopt so we can have their uh, take on their expectations this way we felt that uh, we would share understanding with each and every one of them so that uh, the outcome, the outcome of the plan will be best and fit for purpose. Engineer Lawal also harped on the service level agreement which he said would promote improved service in the Nigerian electricity supply industry. The service level agreement is meant to drive performance in the industry. That's the fundamental object. Okay. Uh, every stakeholder has a commitment 
to give her best so that when we aggregate all this, uh, the performance profile would have improved. In doing this, you can't just leave everyone to move at his or her own pace. There has to be that central organ that drives this. Uh, the responsibility is placed on the SO by the regulatory commission. I mean the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission. So that is what you know, we have been trying to preach and we felt we have to do this in a manner that is transparent and in a manner that is consistent with the stipulations of uh, the agreement itself. During the meeting, the General Manager Technical Services at TCN, Engineer Kingsley also has said the projects were critical to improve the electricity grid. And all these projects are not just meant for TCN alone. It is meant for the entire NESI, that's the Nigerian Electricity Supply Industry. Now, additionally, we have outlined several telecommunication projects and equipment upgrade that will complement this uh, goal. Other officials of TCN made presentations to give updates on the various CADA EMS projects that TCN was working to deliver. There were also questions and responses from the participants after they had listened to the presentations from the officials of TCN. Engineer Lowell also provided some clarifications to the participants at the meeting after he had listened to the presentations from the officials of TCN and observations from stakeholders, noting that TCN plans to have two national control centers that will be both active. Both of them will be active. You can choose to operate the grid from any of them. It's like hot standby. That's what she was trying to explain. All right? The two national control centers will be active. However, you may only operate the grid from any of them, not the two of them at the same time. Of course, that would not be possible. Next is the interview segment of the Power Circuit. Have a delightful viewing experience. You're welcome to the Power Circuit, sir. Thank you. Could you please introduce yourself? I'm Engineer Victor Hadewumi the executive director transmission service provider now tcn has been improving on its capacity what is the poor power willing capacity and the coverage area of the company so far both for nigerians and abroad we take transmission services to all the nooks and crannies of this country so our coverage area covers the entire country and uh, presently we are supplying niger and uh, togo in terms of our willing capacity uh, TCN can conveniently wheel 8,100 megawatts, but the verified uh, transmission capacity by NAC is 7,000 megawatts. And what major projects have you executed in the last one year? Now we have a lot of projects. All our projects are ongoing, unlike before. We have about 100, more than 100 uh, projects presently ongoing. and. Um, these projects, as they are being completed, we commission them. Don't forget that we commission Gagarawa. And I can tell you that very soon we are going to commission uh, Ubumosha substation. It has been tested, but the line, the little problem I'm still having there is the line from Goma to Ubumosha, which is not yet completed. So we have all our projects ongoing now. And as we are completing this project, we'll be commissioning them to service. What is the maintenance outlook of the TSP for the power transmission system? Uh, before, our attention or our main focus used to be preventive maintenance. But even when we are carrying out preventive maintenance, most of the time, we are more or less like reactionary. We, re we, we react to problems when they occur. So we want to move from preventive uh, to uh, what we call um, you know, preemptive. So we should be able to predict that this equipment is likely to fail and carry out maintenance on it before they occur at all. We don't just react to faults as they occur. We prevent them. We even foresee them 
then take the necessary action before they occur. That is what you are trying to do now. Okay, so, so how have you coped with issues of line tracing, repairs and vandalism? I can tell you it has not been easy, especially with the insecurity in the country. You know, our lines are in the bush. They are not where you can actually see them. So carrying out maintenance on this line is very, very difficult because we find it difficult now maintaining those lines. In most cases, when you mobilize people to patrol the line, they will insist that you have to give them security. So at times, it's not even just a matter of providing uh, police. They will insist on, you know, on armed security men. So getting armed security men to patrol your line is not very, very easy. Okay, sir. Now in the electricity industry, there are safety issues. So how do you promote and ensure the safety of the workers? For us in TCN, we have zero tolerance to failures. You are talking of 330,000 votes, 132,000 votes. Those are the voltages we relate with. Nobody touch 132 or 330 kV and come out of it alive. So we don't joke with safety. We don't joke with safety at all. If you come in contact with 330, you might likely even vaporize because of the level of the voltage involved. So we don't joke with safety at all. Before we embark on anything, any maintenance at all, we make sure that we sit all the workers down, we assign rules and responsibility to everybody so that everybody knows what to do. You know, we normally at times even assign safety supervisor whose responsibility is not even to partake in the job but to sit and be watching. So that if any, before anybody commits any blunder, he points it out that no, don't go there. So we don't take safety uh, of our staff lightly. And let me equally inform you that we have a department in TCN that we call Lifeline Department. This Lifeline Department, they carry out their own job. Life! If you want to carry out a maintenance, the normal thing for us is to knock off the supply. But when you knock off a major equipment, you might be throwing a whole state or entire region into blackout. So nobody will tolerate that. That because you want to carry out maybe maintenance of uh, 10 hours, you ask the whole, a particular part of the country to go, you know, to be in blackout. So in doing this, what we normally do is to raise the potential of those individuals that will do the job live from zero to 330 if they are to work on 330 or from zero to 132 kV if they are to work on 132 kV. So which means the person himself eh, will be the voltage on him will be 330 kV. But he is safe because when you don't have potential difference between him there won't be any current flowing. As long as no current flows is alive. Is safe. Nothing is wrong with him. It's only when you have potential difference between his body, maybe from 330 to another voltage level, then you can have current flow. Then the person will be electrocuted. So anytime you want to carry out maybe maintenance on major lines, they do this job on on that particular voltage level. That's why we call them live line. And in doing that, there are procedures you have to follow. And that's why I said there is no tolerance at all for mistake. But any mistake, you have dead people. So uh, for us, as a matter of policy, we don't take safety of our staff for granted. We are there strictly to the safety codes as dictated by the kind of maintenance they want to carry out. Okay, sir, on a final note, uh, I mean, view of the COVID-19 pandemic, the effects of COVID-19 pandemic, what's your projection for project delivery this year? Well, like I told you, we have a lot of our projects that are ongoing now. Some are nearing completion. As uh, they are being completed, we are going to commission them to service. But unfortunately, I must tell you that uh, COVID-19 
more or less took us back for I think more than two years. Like we are more than two years back. Because at a point the contractors on site demobilized from site. Some of them went back to their country and uh, some declared force major for us to remobilize them back to site. We lost almost two years. And it's not easy in the life of a project. You lost a whole two years. Not only that, even up to now, there are some projects, there are some equipment that we need to travel, you know, to where this equipment has been manufactured to carry out what we call factory acceptance test. Manufacturers don't manufacture power equipment down. You don't just go and buy them off the shelf. You must give them your design, you must give them your specification, they manufactured according to your design and specification. And many at times when they finish manufacturing, you have to travel there to see it for yourself, to carry out tests, to make sure that what they manufactured for you conform with your own standards. Otherwise, immediately that equipment leaves the shore of their country, it, belongs your, it, be, it becomes your responsibility. So, you don't want to buy equipment that will be useless when they come. So you must travel there to make sure that everything is in order before they begin to, you know, the shipment. But because of COVID-19, it is very difficult for you to even travel there to some of these countries. You travel down there, they quarantine you for one week, two weeks. So to mitigate this, what we are doing now is to carry out online tests. It is good, it is acceptable, you know, but all the same, it is not as good as when you are there physically. So it's a, it's a COVID-19, it's a serious challenge, but it is global. It's not, comp it's not, it's not uh, you know, uh, it's not as if it's only in our country, Nigeria. It's a global issue. It's not peculiar to us in this country. So we are trying to live with it. At least we will get our project completed. Because Nigeria wants stable and interruptible power supply. Thank you very much, sir, for your time on the power circuit. Thank you. Okay. And so it's been a beautiful session with the EDTSP engineer Victor they will meet today on the power circuit. Hope to have you again some other time. You're welcome back from the interview segment. One takeaway from this is that TCN is now having a paradigm shift in the maintenance of transmission system and equipment as it adopts a preemptive strategy. This means the present management of TCN evaluates all equipment and puts them up to speed even before they experience a breakdown. As we wrap up this edition, here are the headlines again. Federal Executive Council approves three power transmission projects. TCN, World Bank boosts skills of 708 electrical engineers, linesmen. TCN, power sector stakeholders converge on SCADA EMS projects. In the interview segment, the Executive Director, Transmission Service Provider, TSP at TCN, Engineer Victor Adeumi, spoke about the role of TSP in building and maintaining power transmission infrastructure for the national power grid. Thank you always, our viewer, for being a part of the power circuit. This episode and all others are readily accessible with just a click on the TCN YouTube channel. Keep supporting TCN through these platforms so that together, the company can attain more milestones in delivering bulk electricity for improved power consumer experience. Ensure you follow the coronavirus prevention protocol as TCN cares. Thanks for watching. I am Amara Agugoisi. <laughs>